Thank you. Thank you very much, Secretary General. Fair Moon, future casters, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, I too would like to wish you all a very happy new year. How great it is to be able to join you for the opening of this 10th Fair Moon Conference, and actually the fourth one that the ITU has had the privilege and honor of co-hosting. We are really thrilled, as Jezien mentioned in the beginning, uh, that this is the first of a new series that ITU is hosting, uh, our ITU Future Casters Global Youth Summits on Technology for Development. Looking across the room at 700 and upstairs as well, I want to recognize the young faces upstairs too. It's great to have a standing room only. But really looking out at all of you, looking at your faces from so many countries and so many different cultures, it really fills me with so much excitement and so much hope. Excitement because as young people, I know you get it. You understand technology and what it can do better than any of us. At home, I have four teenagers around your age, and I'm constantly astounded by their intuitive grasp of the power of digital platforms and their potential applications. I'm also, as I mentioned, really filled with hope. Hope because, as you've noticed, today the world really needs some fresh ideas. Let me be clear, it's not up to you alone to fix this. It's not up to you alone to fix the planet or to solve alone the problems that previous generations have created. And as Fabrizio mentioned, and the Director General as well, it is the responsibility of each and every one of us. Each and every one of us together must work to fix the challenges that we face. But as the first true generation of digital natives, your youthful perspective combined with your digital skills, it gives us a real chance, a real chance to finally break through some of the chronic development barriers and the old paradigms and to really affect lasting, transformative change. As the UN kicks off today its 75th anniversary celebration, the international community is no longer in doubt that digital technologies lie at the very heart of the attainment of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Global cooperation and global collaboration in bringing the power of digital to the many challenges that the UN is called to address is really of vital importance. And from the ITU side, our commitment to connecting the world, something that we have steadfastly led for over 150 years, has really culminated into a very unique and powerful opportunity. And when the UN was founded back in 1945, the ITU was actually celebrating our 80th birthday. We are the oldest organization in the UN system. But technology with the power and the scale as we know it today barely existed. A mere 25 million analog lines served the planet. So imagine that, 1% of the population had access to a telephone. Of course, at that time, many of those access points were actually shared points. And even as recently as the year 2000, when the global community came together and adopted the first development goals, the Millennium Development Goals, only 12%, 12 12% of the population had a mobile phone, and 6% were connected to the internet, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok didn't exist. Smartphones and tablets had not been invented. If we fast forward to the year 2020 to now, just imagine, imagine 
what a difference we could make in a world where mobile phones are near ubiquitous, where more than half the world has access to the internet, and where we really stand at the brink of next generation breakthroughs in areas like machine learning, robotics, and neural networks. Distinguished future forecasters, for me, this summit represents a realization of a pledge that I made last year when I took office. And that pledge was to ensure that my organization continues to push forward further and faster on efforts to be more inclusive. And opening our debates to the voices of youth is a key pillar in this inclusivity. With that in mind, I'd like to encourage all of you over the next three days to think creatively to share your ideas on how we can use technology to accelerate positive development outcomes, especially in areas like healthcare, like education, like environmental sustainability, gender equality, and of course, youth opportunities. As our Secretary General mentioned in the beginning, do you dare to, or as we heard in the video, what if? What if is the question. And right now, the only limit is our imaginations. And so, ladies and gentlemen, a brighter future for all can start right here, right here at the Fairmont Futurecasters 2020. Thank you very much.